Welcome to this new episode of my Godot introduction series and in this uh, tutorial we will cover creating the visual character so we will create um, a character like that so this is a character I've painted and um, we will uh, make him fully anima animatable and create a complete rig for him so we can um, create run animations and jump animations, idle animations and this will all be done in Godot, all, also the animations will be, will, will be done in Godot and therefore we will set up the character now. First of all we will copy uh, that to our project folder with the sprites, oh sorry, to the textures so we have the sprites here and now we will create a new scene and at the top there will be the node 2D which we will call um, character sprites and now let's add in a second node and this will be the base of our rig so everything will be attached to that um, base node here and therefore we will create uh, certain sprites um, this sprite uh, will just be as reference and this we this we will use um, to display our character and uh, so we know where we have to place all the separate parts so we select our graphic uh, gbot complete and this will give us a reference where we have to put all the sprites okay so we will select the base node here and now let's add a new sprite node, call it body and now let's select the body um, so we will make this one less opaque and this is done here in the canvas items dot five and um, we will also make him not selectable so we just can select all the objects here but uh, not the complete node here and therefore we will just lock it with this button here you see this icon and that says that the graphic is locked and we cannot select it in the um, 2D view here but we still can select all these nodes and we want um, to put the nodes to the exact position but before we start uh, or do that we have to set the pivot to the right position so currently when we rotate the sprite it will always rotate around that pivot here but in our case we want to rotate uh, around that uh, area here and therefore we just uh, select the sprite node and while moving we press the V key so the pivot will stay and we just move the uh, sprite so and if we rotate it now it will, all it will rotate around that pivot here okay now once you've done that we can put him to the right position um, now when we move the body we want the head and the arms uh, to be moved too and that's why we will parent the arms uh, to the body and the head also to the body so we select the body and create a new sprite and call it upper arm dot r so this is the right upper arm and we will load it here so where is it? arm.r uh, same for this one, we will set the pivot point and now we will place it here and to that arm, the forearm will be parented so we select the upper arm, create a new sprite call it forearm.r and load the graphic also set the pivot uh, to the rotation or to the point where you want it to rotate and now rep uh, reposition it so if we now rotate the arm the forearm will move too okay now we have uh, done the upper arm right and now we d will s do the same for the left arm so <coughs> I'll just call it r dot r uh, l and this one will be arm.r reposition the pivot 
and set it to that position here. This will be the forearm dot underscore L. Okay, this can take a little bit of time, but I think it's done relatively quick. So, now that we have the body, we will create the hip with the legs attached to it. So, select the base node again, and now let's do the hip. Um, select the sprite we want to, to have there. So, the hip will rotate around here. Now let's move it. Okay. Now the leg. Um, the draw order of our sprites um, is at the moment um, not arranged, and we will do it uh, in the second step. All sprites have a newer version of Godot, the Z value, and this will uh, set the draw order, and uh, we will set this after we have set up all the all the sprites here. So now select the leg dot r. Set the rotation pivot here, and place it. So now let's add the new node. Shin Oops. and load the shin here. So, and finally the foot for this one here. Foot underscore R and load the foot. Okay, this one is done. Now the left leg. So if this is too boring for you, just skip it uh, and go a few minutes forward. And then you can see how to proceed with this character. So this will be the shin underscore R L. And finally the foot. Okay, and last but not least, we will add the head here. Here, so <coughs> so the head will rotate around that uh, ball here, and. Uh, <coughs> okay, our character is set up, and now we will um, fix the draw order. And this is simply done with the um, Z value here. So our um, left arm should be at the at the at the back and we will set this to minus 2 our leg left uh, leg will be minus 1 uh, oops sorry this was the wrong one uh, this one minus 1 and that's it the character is set up we will save the file and call it 
character sprites dot xml and now that uh, now we are finished with the sprites we will create the rig so this is pretty simple in Godot we just have to create uh, just to have to select the um, sprites and go to the edit skeleton make bones and this will draw a bone to the parent so if if we select that uh, forearm it will draw the a node to the parent. Now if we want to create uh, this bone here we just have to create a new node 2D reposition it and call it bone display and just create that bone here with make bones. Okay this will we will do now for every bone or every sprite So now we have to add the hips and the um, the legs. Oh, and I see that the body needs to be rearranged to one. So you, the upper body will be drawn on top of the hips, or uh, on top of the hip and the legs. So the upper body is done. Now we will add the hip bones. So this one, we can also select more than one node and just say make bones and finally we will add the f uh, foot bones. And the last one. Okay, so okay, um, our bone rig is set up, and one last thing we want to do is, at the moment we can can select uh, that bone, but um, we want to move with this bone the complete leg, and therefore we can use the IK functionality in Godot. So this is called inverse kinematic, and we will select the bones um, to where the IK inverse kinematic should work and just say make IK chain and this will now let us move the complete leg with just selecting the children and this is pretty awesome and makes animating a lot faster so we will also add this in for the upper arms and now save this Okay, this is almost done. Um, the last final thing we want to do is we will add the animation node um, and just create a basic or a base animation. So we can create a new animation by pressing this uh, little icon here, call it base. And if, if you want to edit th that animation, we just have to press this uh, pencil button here. And now we will select the bones we want to animate or set the pos position. And just uh, press the this little key button here. And this will create uh, us uh, all the tracks for us. So, um, why do we create the space animation? Um, this is done because um, if we reset something here, let's say we have moved the head and we don't know the exact original position, 
we just have to open the base animation and this will reset everything to uh, its original position. Um, yes, I think that's it. And in the next videos we will start animating our character. We will give him an idle animation, a run animation, um, a jump up animation and a jump, jump down animation. And that's uh, it for the next series. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you I hope you liked that video, and I hope you learned something. And if you liked that, please share this video with other people and give me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.